A serotonin receptor agonist is an agonist of one or more serotonin receptors. They activate serotonin receptors in a manner similar to that of serotonin, 5-hydroxytryptamine, 5-HT, a neurotransmitter and hormone and the endogenous ligand of the serotonin receptors. Non-selective agonists Serotonergic psychedelics such as tryptamines e.g., psilocybin, psilocin, DMT, 5-MeO-DMT, bufotenin, lysergamides e.g., LSD, ergine, LSA, phenethylamines e.g., mescaline, 2-CB, 25-IN BOM, and amphetamines e.g., MDA, DOM are non-selective agonists of serotonin receptors. Their hallucinogenic effects are specifically mediated by activation of the 5-HT2A receptor. Drugs that increase extracellular serotonin levels such as serotonin reuptake inhibitors e.g., fluoxetine, venlafaxine, serotonin-releasing agents e.g., fenfluramine, MDMA, and monoamine oxidase inhibitors e.g., phenylzine, moclobamide are indirect non-selective serotonin receptor agonists. They are used variously as antidepressants, anxiolytics, antiobsessionals, appetite suppressants, and intactogens. 5-HT1 receptor agonists 5-HT1A receptor agonists Azapirones such as buspirone, gepirone, and tandaspirone are 5-HT1A receptor partial agonists marketed primarily as anxiolytics, but also as antidepressants. The antidepressants velazidone and bortioxetine are 5-HT1A receptor partial agonists. Flavanserin, a drug used for female sexual dysfunction, is a 5-HT1A receptor partial agonist. Many atypical antipsychotics, such as aripiprazole, acenapine, clozapine, loracidone, quetiapine, and zaprasidone, are 5-HT1A receptor partial agonists, and this action is thought to contribute to their beneficial effects on negative symptoms in schizophrenia. 5-HT1B receptor agonists Triptans such as sumatriptan, rizotriptan, and naratriptan are 5-HT1B receptor agonists that are used to abort migraine and cluster headache attacks. The ergoline antimigraine agent ergotamine also acts on this receptor. Serenics such as bataprazine, eltoprazine, and fluprazine are agonists of the 5-HT1B receptor and other serotonin receptors, and have been found to produce antiaggressive effects in animals, but have not been marketed. Eltoprazine is under development for the treatment of aggression and for other indications. 5-HT1D receptor agonists In addition to being 5-HT1B agonists, tryptans i.e. sumatriptan, almatriptan, zolmatriptan, naratriptan, elatriptan, frobatriptan and rizotriptan are also agonists at the 5-HT1D receptor, which contributes to their anti-migraine effect caused by vasoconstriction of blood vessels in the brain. The same is true for ergotamine. 5-HT1E receptor agonists the triptan elatriptan is an agonist of the 5-HT1E receptor. Minus 54,443 Brazilian reals is a selective 5-HT1E and 5-HT1F receptor agonist which is used in scientific research. 5-HT1F receptor agonists Triptans such as elatriptan, naratriptan, and sumatriptan are agonists of the 5-HT1F receptor. Lasmididin is a selective 5-HT1F agonist that is under development by Eli Lilly and company for the treatment of migraine. 5-HT2 receptor agonists 5-HT2A receptor agonists Serotonergic psychedelics like psilocybin, LSD, and mescaline act as 5-HT2A receptor agonists. Their actions at this receptor are thought to be responsible for their hallucinogenic effects. Most of these drugs also act as agonists of other serotonin receptors. 
Not all 5-HT2A receptor agonists are psychoactive. The 2,5-NB and bone series is a family of phenethylamine serotonergic psychedelics that, unlike other classes of serotonergic psychedelics, act as highly selective 5-HT2A receptor agonists. The most well-known member of the 2,5-NB series is 25-IN bone, 2S, 6S. DMBMPP is an analog of the 2,5-NB compounds and is the most highly selective agonist of the 5-HT2A receptor that has been identified to date. 04310, 1-isopropyl 6-fluorosilicin, is a tryptamine derivative that is a highly selective agonist of the 5-HT2A receptor. Selective 5-HT2A receptor agonists like the 2,5-NB compounds can cause serotonin syndrome like adverse effects such as hyperthermia, hyperpyrexia, tachycardia, hypertension, clonus, seizures, agitation, aggression, and hallucinations, most importantly in overdose. In severe cases, these effects can be fatal. In contrast, for reasons that are unknown, LSD, which is an agonist of both the 5-HT2A receptor and many other serotonin receptors, has never been associated with serotonin syndrome in more than 50 years of use. Activation of the 5-HT2A receptor is also implicated in serotonin syndrome caused by indirect serotonin receptor agonists like serotonin reuptake inhibitors, serotonin releasing agents, and monoamine oxidase inhibitors. Antagonists of the 5-HT2A receptor like cyproheptadine and chlorpromazine are able to reverse and mediate recovery from serotonin syndrome. 5-HT2B receptor agonists Agonists of the 5-HT2B receptor are implicated in the development of cardiac fibrosis. Phenfluramine, pergolide, and cabergoline have been withdrawn from some markets for this reason. Many serotonergic psychedelics, such as LSD and psilocin, have been shown to activate this receptor directly. MDMA has been reported to be both a potent direct agonist and have an indirect effect by increasing plasma serotonin levels. 5-HT2C receptor agonists Lorcaserin is an appetite suppressant and anti-obesity drug which acts as a selective 5-HT2C receptor agonist. Metachlorophenylpipirazine MCPP, is a 5-HT2C preferring serotonin receptor agonist that induces anxiety and depression and can cause panic attacks in susceptible individuals. 5-HT3 receptor agonists 2-methyl-5-hydroxytryptamine and kepazine are moderately selective agonists of the 5-HT3 receptor that are used in scientific research. Agonists of this receptor are known to induce nausea and vomiting, and are not used medically. 5-HT4 receptor agonists Cisapride and tagacerode are 5-HT4 receptor partial agonists that were used to treat disorders of gastrointestinal motility. Prucolopride is a highly selective 5-HT4 receptor agonist that can be used to treat certain disorders of gastrointestinal motility. Other 5-HT4 receptor agonists have shown potential to be nootropic and antidepressant drugs, but have not been marketed for such indications. 5-HT5A receptor agonists Valerinic acid, a constituent of valerian root, has been found to act as a 5-HT5A receptor agonist, and this action could be involved in the sleep-promoting effects of valerian. 5-HT6 receptor agonists No selective agonists of the 5-HT6 receptor have been approved for medical use. Selective 5-HT6 receptor agonists like E6801, E6837, EMDT, WE-181187, and WE-208466 show antidepressant, anxiolytic, antiobsessional, and appetite-suppressant effects in animals, but also impair cognition and memory. 5-HT7 receptor agonists AS-19 is a 5-HT7 receptor agonist that has been used in scientific research. See also Serotonin receptor antagonist 
References External links IUPHAR GPCR Database 5HT Receptor Family Mesh List of Agents 82,017,366 Serotonin plus agonists at the U.S. National Library of Medicine Medical Subject Headings, MESH